hello guys this is farjana welcome to my another tutorial in today's video i will show you how we can make a transparent header and also we can make the header area sticky to top when you scroll down and this menu area will be transparent and for this tutorial i am using elementor pro so i will use some widgets and effect from elementor pro if you still not have Elementor Pro, I will leave the link in my description so you can take it from there. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so after installing Elementor Pro, when you go to Again Dashboard and go to Templates and Theme Builder, then we have to go the header area. And now I will create a custom header. So add new header, template type header and template name. We can type header or anything. Now create template. Okay, so for this time I'm going to start from scratch. So add new section and here I'm selecting a structure like this. So in the left side will be logo and right side will be menu. So for the left side, I'm taking the site logo. And for the right side, I'm taking nav menu. These two are coming from Elementor Pro. And here logo is white. So we cannot see. Okay, so for that, first I'm going to add a black background so I can see. So for that I'm going to edit section, going to style tab and going to background. So background type, color, we can add background color to black. So now you can see here is the logo. Now first I'm going to edit the logo. So for that going here and logo alignment making it to left and we can also decrease the logo size. So for that, going to style tab and width, we can decrease it to like that. And for the right side, for the menu item, I'm going here and alignment to right. And now want to make the color to white. So going to style tab and text color to white and on hover we can see here is a line green color so for that going to hover text color to white and pointer color to white and when you click on active we need not to change anything from here okay and now i'm going to removing some extra spacing so going to edit section going to layout and column gap making it to no gap so now all this extra spacing is removed and one more thing we can make the vertical alignment center for this menu so going to edit going to sorry going to here and vertical align to middle okay and here first i'm saving it as it is and at condition we can make it to entire site and save and close now i'm going to refresh the website okay so our new header is coming so now here is the menu background area black so you cannot see the background is working or not so to check that i'm changing the section background for this time to a different one for example here i'm adding a red color and update so it's just for testing now again refresh and now we can see this red background is showing but here we want to keep it transparent in default state so again going here and going to edit color and from here i'm making the transparency to zero and save it and now if we refresh the page we can see the header looks fully white okay so to remove this white spacing we have to do one more thing going to layout 
and here is height we have to set a height setting to mean height and here i'm making it to 80 pixel and going to advanced tab and going to margin so from here we have to add a minus margin to bottom area and this minus margin will be the exact pixel of the section height so now i'm making it to minus 80 and now if we just save it again and refresh okay so now we can see our menu is showing and it's transparent but here logo is not showing so for that we have to add some z index here i am adding let's say 5 for z index and now if we refresh we can see our logo is showing and now you can see the header area is fully transparent now the steps two so now i will make the header area sticky so for that again i'm going to edit section and from advanced area going to motion effect and here i have to enable this scrolling effect making it on and then here is sticky making it to top all is good and now update it and refresh the page okay so now if we scroll down and we can see our menu is sticky but here one more thing i want to add a transparent background for this header area okay so for that going to custom css and here i will add some css i'm going here and going to copy this css and paste it here so here i have added a background color it's a black color with some transparency so it will only work with sticky header when it will scroll down and here is some small transition for this background color so this background color will be changed after two seconds with a nice animation and now i'm saving it and now if we refresh the page and now scroll down and here we can see now this black transparent color is working only with the sticky state and when we go back to normal state we can see this background color is removed okay so this is almost done now let's have a look for the responsive view so for that again i'm going to check from here going to tablet here is the menu icon now i'm going to edit this icon need to change some color for the toggle button i'm changing the color to white and background color we can make it to transparent and we can make the alignment toggle align to right okay and here need to add some padding from left and right so going to edit section advance and here from right side you can add 20 pixel and left side 20 pixel okay now save it and now if we go to the mobile view so here we can make it to 50 50 so going to edit column for the logo and column width we can make it to 50 percent and for the logo column edit going here column width we can make it to 50 percent or here we can make it to more smaller like we can make it to 20 and here we can make it to 80 so it looks good for now and phone icon is okay and if we check the menu it's looking break so to fix that again going to tablet and from here we can make the mobile drop down we can make it to full width okay so now looks good also for phone looks like this and here one more thing we can change the mobile menu background color so for that going to again style tab and from okay i'm going to again tablet it will work for also mobile and now going to drop down 
so this drop down will work for the sub menu item for the desktop and it will also work the mobile menu area so now from here we can add the background color to black and text color to white okay and also checking the mobile view okay so it's working good also for phone now and I'm saving it and if we refresh and now go for mobile view yeah looks good also for tablet looks good okay so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial